Hello, hello to all the amazing YouTube people. The Neymar here, another Star Sector video. And uh, last time we fought some remnants, it was okay. It's been a while since I was a little bit rusty, but uh, we have a big fleet now, so we don't have to worry about too much. And we have a lot of colonies, so we don't have to worry about too much failing a little bit. Anyhow, today I would like to do some exploring. So we're going to go and uh, grab some uh, beautiful, beautiful fuel here. I'm going to drop off the stuff I need, don't need into my storage. And I want to go and explore a little bit more to see what else there is out there in the great beyond. So, okay, let's drop off the weapons. There we go, gear. There we go. This thing we might carry with us, actually. But... Okay, Yana's device that. We got another alpha core last time, so we can really make a lot of colonies now. <laughs> okay, machinery, I think like 300 should be enough. There we go. People, well, I have way more people than I need, so let's go down to like 5.2k. Well, actually, we can have these people on, right? We have lots of cash. Well, I don't know. 4.6k. Let's do it like that. Okay. Okay, fuel supplies. Right, that's good. Uh, let's see if there's anyone who needs our help. Nope, there isn't. Okay. So yeah, uh, two episodes ago I uh, finished all the stories that the game has for right now. The game is still being developed, so surely there'll be some more. So if we go to sector map here, uh, I want to go and explore this corner here. So. And once we explore that, I'm going to decide what we do next. Do we like go and explore this and this, go back, refuel? So it's nice that we have a colony here. This works like a nice uh, jump off point for exploration here. Uh, as for the fleet, these are our fighting ships, five Auroras, Aurora Ridden with three story points each. That's a lot of story points. Hiya! Some Hyperions, also really, really good. Uh, a couple of big ships that can just take some tank, some damage. Another one here. Neo is dream. Probably should invest some story points in that as well. Some fuel haulers, Melganor's uh, carrier. For AI ship, we have this one right now, the Radiant. And uh, then, uh, well, <laughs> we are using this one a tiny bit. Uh, just try testing it out to see how long it can survive. Last fight, he survived quite a long time. We have a meme uh, mercenary officer here flying a shuttle, and well, some people to, sh to like speed us up, some tugs, and then some exploratory vessels which uh, increase our uh, sensor range. And also, um, this thing with surveying equipment just to reduce the cost of uh, surveying a little bit although we're not really hurting with supplies anyway so that should be fine how are we doing with supplies anyway well we're going exploring so ah 10k is enough we can also just come back here and uh, get some more supplies if we need to so that shouldn't be an issue but yeah let's go and see what else can we explore so yeah i guess we're not gonna find what these are <laughs> <laughs> I was just wanting to talk about those and lo and behold, they, they show up. I think those might be making these actually. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's go here on the <laughs> slipstream highway. Well, I want to get out now, but this thing will end soon. So we're making 500,000 per month. Um, we started building some new colonies as well. So once they grow up, it's going to be very, very nice. Um... You know what, since I'm already on top of these, let's let's explore these first. Beta Yami. Also, are there like any missions here? Uh, exploration, new important story. No. Fleet log. <laughs> yeah, we should clean up the log at some point. Oh well. Oh, let's see. Any enemies here? Remnant? something fun to do my transponder is off that's good that's a nice thing so if you want to fight something we can beta yomi baron world hello there beta yomi we're gonna go and scan you because of completeness sake although i'm not really expecting a lot of stuff here okay i'm gonna do another ping here near the gate don't see anything i'm gonna go to the store and i'm gonna head out well i'm not like really sweeping every inch of the space here but 
Surely if there's something significantly big enough to see, we're gonna find it. Okay, this thing seems like we have full survey data of Wasuki. Wasuki, Wasuki, okay. Well, let's trust our past self here that we actually explored that well enough. Okay, then we are here in Kestrel. Kestrel? Ah, it's almost Kestrel, which reminds me. I should play some FTLs one of these days. Okay. Kestrel, I think, is the name of the starting ship, isn't it? Ah, such a wonderful game. People try to clone the FTL formula a lot, but... Uh, I don't know. FTL just feels amazing. Maybe it's because of the music. Music's amazing in it. Oh, Start Fortress uh, done. High-tech at Alpha Lagash Farm. Well, nothing else to do here, right? So this is the biggest station we can get. Even with the biggest station, it's still pretty well defended. And I'm administering it. Apparently, that's okay. That's okay. Would be better to put an alpha core to administer it, but for now it's all right. Okay, we we upgraded the mega port. Well, we upgraded everything. Now we can put some story point in these if we want to, but not yet. Okay, I can put on the planetary shield, but it's very expensive. I'm gonna do those last. I can put a patrol HQ down. Actually, let's do that. So we got some uh, patrols defending it. Also, let's see. Yeah, we're not building anything here. We should definitely put something down. So this is Alpha Lagash Rare Ores. So we're producing like two Transplutonic Ores here right now. Okay, and since we're producing ores, it probably might be a good idea to make a Transplutonic Factory. So that's gonna be heavy industry here. There we go. And then, okay, this thing will like lose us a lot of cash though. Okay, so that was that one. Yeah, that one's kind of slipped through my fingers. This one here, Ludic Patzel Sleeper, right? Fuel production, hey. Mega port upgrading, that's good. Let's upgrade these to heavy batteries and let's put down a patrol HQ here as well. Why can't we make this thing? Cannot be built on a gas giant. Oh, that's very interesting. Makes sense, I guess. Okay, let's go here. Lilith. Oh, a lot of references these days. Found out recently that Lilith was the first woman, supposedly. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go down to the store. Do a nice active sensor burst to increase our sensor range a bit. See if there's like anything hiding there. Well, not really. Okay, this thing's done. Okay, let's go to the black hole. Now, the black holes usually have some goodies. Ooh, a lot of planets here as well. Gamma Tempest, right. Ping, 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 ping. Okay, let's fly towards the first couple of planets here. Oh, if they're gonna be in the nebula. Ah, gonna slow us down a little bit here, that's fine. So the plan is to explore a little bit, do some fighting. If we don't fight any, find any fights, we're probably gonna go and fight some remnants a little bit more. Oh, hello there. We saw something here. What's this? It's an Atlas class super freighter. Okay, hello there, buddy. I can recover it, but we already have plenty of this, so we're just gonna salvage it for materials here. Not really worth our time, but I wasn't sure what it was until we got really, really close and opened the pod. Administrator Patrick Elysium has entered your service. Well, hello there, Patrick. Are you any good? Um, so this one has industrial planning. And Patrick also has industrial planning. We also have way more people than we need here. Interesting thing, though. We have some extra people we are not using. Oh, by the way, if you want to be an administrator of one of my colonies, let me know in the comments. I'm going to name one of these dudes after you. Anyhow. Uh, let's go to let's go to Alpha Lagash Farm here, and you will see if I replace myself with somebody else, it should probably flourish, right? So I don't know, Apollo Oberon, you can you can grab this one, yeah. I'm not really spec to be a colonial administrator, so um, I will uh, I will let other others do that job. Also, the chip income here. Uh, we can play Wednesday Damius. Uh, let's put the new dude in charge, right? 
Okay. Let's put the new dude in charge. There we go. Patrick Elysium. Hello there. Welcome to the team. And you can administer this thing. There we go. Now I have my hands free to focus on other things. Look at all the AI cores though. Mm, yummy. Okay. Um, let's see. We have way more colonies that we should ever have balance wise. So, But uh, the game considers if you're capable to grab an uh, alpha core from the remnants. You're probably capable to do anything. And then they let you spam out colonies if you really want to. But uh, even with a colony or two that you can uh, administer administer on your own, like three or four colonies, if they're in a good system, will be able to fuel your economy just fine. Especially since the more colonies we have, they start competing between each other uh, for the income. So the more of them you have, the, there's local, like also diminishing returns. So yeah, something to keep in mind. Oh, extensive ruins, nice. Gonna find something useful one of these days? Uh, not now. Oh, just a corrupted nano forge. Not that corrupted nano forge is bad, and I should probably put them on my planets when I remember to do it. But still, pristine one would be way way nicer. Okay, let's go do that. That go to the black hole, and then we're gonna go and scan the other two planets. We're mainly looking for like industry improvements, but those are like super super rare. Like I said, the game's totally um, the game's totally not balanced around the fact to have like 10 colonies. <laughs> I like doing colonies though. And also interesting thing is that um, uh, the, the, the commonness of enemy attacks like... Um, well, I'm gonna change my plan here a little bit. How often the enemies invade you does not scale with the number of colonies, so... You're not gonna get overwhelmed by invasions if you make more colonies. Which makes them even more powerful, actually. So having only one feels like a chore to defend it. But then if you have ten, it's like the same chore, but you make way more money, so... And then you have some people who just uh, spam. Like, they fill up the whole sector with colonies. That's their goal. Basically, and there's a lot of plans. That's a lot of course. So you have people like trying to figure out like the best uh, fleet setups that can uh, destroy uh, the the remnant fleets with as little input on their own as possible. No, there's nothing here. Well, sorry, there, Gamma Tempest. You are not interesting enough for, to research. Okay. Oh, look at this is circling. That's so nice. I was hoping to find something useful here, but hey. It's like in the corner, so one would think it's gonna have something very juicy, but no, actually. Ooh. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. There we go. Oh, enough to evade. I like that. Okay, let's make a circle around this pulsar. Let's grab this thing. Eros, the neutron star. Hello there, Eros. What's up? Oh, what's that? Stable location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's neutral. Let's uh, let's colonize a neutron star. That's definitely a really good idea, right? Nope, it's not. Hello there, buddy. Have you been bombarded by this nasty, nasty neutron star? Yeah, it must be hard. Okay, let's go here and do this. Okay, now let's see. Well, I'm gonna push through this thing. Come on, there we go. Because I cannot wait. Okay. Let's go enable the gate. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, high command done. Atrena's demise. Oh, needs fuel. Mm. Needs fuel. Military base, orbital works. Well, somebody's supply with fuel. It's seven fuel. Fuel is the one thing that I'm not really producing as much as I should. Do we even have the. Uh, so remnant demise, right, high command, then remnant moon, also high command, right, remnant escaped, 
Yeah, we are kind of not really producing fuel here at all. I think the main reason is that we don't have any volatiles, right? Yeah, so we're not producing any fuel. Huh. I think we might be producing some maybe on cheap income here. No, wait. Let's click here. No, we cannot see it right now. Like, don't I have like a fuel producing? No, the, the secret army base produces fuel. Only six though. Okay, that's why it's lacking. Mm. Oh, it also has an uh, alpha core in it. Huh. But still not producing enough. Interesting. Only six fuel here. Um, I guess producing fuel is really, really hard. Available seven, maximum demand seven. Wait, what? But this is not from inside the faction. Okay. So I guess there is no way for me to produce seven fuel then. Well, I could like input four story points to do it. But uh, so what are the like the penalties for it anyway? Colonies, remnants, moon. One less stability. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Okay, let's scan the gate. Wonderful. Captain, your sensors offer reports. The scan is complete. So now we can use the gate if you want to. However, so there is a gate in the corner. That's me in the corner. Okay, let's go scan these two then next. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Pretty, like, so far this run was pretty non-inventful. I wonder if there are like some secrets. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a secret. So maybe in next patch we find out what that is. We'll see. Oh, there's a distress call from Alpha Namib. Somebody wants our help here. Hello. <laughs> Pirate raiders laying in wait. Hello there, buddies. <laughs> You're not going to touch me. I'm a little bit too powerful for you. Oh, what's that? Is this your salvage? I can have it, that's fine. So they put out a distress call, they wait for a merchant to come and quote unquote help them and then they rope them. That's like a thing in this game. So when you get the distress call, you will not know if the if the stress call is legit or if it's a trap. Once you get in the system, you will find out. But of course, if your fleet is big enough, usually um, usually they will be like, okay, hello there. <laughs> yeah, we, we needed help. Somebody already helped us. Yeah, yep, yep, definitely. This was definitely not a trap. So, yep, have a nice day, sir. And I'll see you around. Okay. Okay, let's go close here. Let's do a pink. Do you, do you hide anything around yourself? No. Okay. Yeah, pretty uneventful so far. Come on, game. I want some like fights. Okay, we scan these three. We scan these three. Okay, these we scanned when we were searching for good locations, I think, for the Beta Lagash. Um, um, Hypershunt. So that's all scanned. Then in the end, we decided to make our colonies here in the Alpha Logosh, which is fine. Which is fine. Okay, let's go here, scan these, and then we can come back, do a fight with remnants, and maybe wrap up the video. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. There's gonna be more hyper shunts across the galaxy. I mean, across the sector, <laughs> not the galaxy. <laughs> uh. Hello there, mister. Do you hide anything interesting? You're an orange star. Orange. Okay, let's do this. Nothing around here. So sometimes off a little bit distance of the jump gates and stuff, sometimes there will be things hiding like all the way out in the like nowhere, but uh, that's fairly uncommon, so. And I really don't feel like 
flying for hours on end looking for something that might not even exist. I used to do that when the game was still young and there was not much to do in it. Then you would go into the system, like take 10 minutes, do a nice circle of fly around. Sometimes you would find something, well, usually just like some very small non-significant stuff. But yeah, let me know in the comments, are there like, okay, battle station, high tech, okay. I'm gonna make it a star fortress, there we go. So this planet will not make a lot of money just yet. Especially after all these defenses I put in. We're producing fuel here. Okay. We, oh, do we have like a sync core, synchronization core for the fuel production? We might. If not, we're gonna grab one from the factions. That's something I wanna do. I wanna go and grab the fuel production core. Okay, that's gonna solve our fuel problems, right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, I just remembered. Command. Oh, your high command doesn't need seven fuel because you have a uh, beta core there. Although it does say it needs seven. This thing only produces six, so I guess you're importing it. Why does it need seven? Oh, maybe because the planet is really big. I don't even know anymore. Okay. I'm not an expert on this game, but I just play it well enough to prosper in it. And I know how to abuse story points and safety overrides. Yay! <laughs> so next uh, next playthrough, we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna play low tech, and then uh, well, no more safety overrides. I don't think so, anyway, right? Or maybe I don't know. No, I don't think on low tech safety overrides would be a really good idea because um, well. The biggest advantage of safety overrides is that your flux empties really fast and flux then makes your shield shields uh, incredibly strong. Hello there, what's up? Laying in wait, mercenary squadron. Oh, hello there, are you fighting pirates? Well, I saw some pirates. I wish I could be like, hey there, dude. Um, oh, never mind. Well, I could turn the transponder on. Let's turn the transponder on. Hello there. Acknowledge receipt of AI Escort. Good to see you, Neomer. Yeah, good to see you too, Rare Arcadia. How's today? I wish I could tell him, hey, there's some pirates in the Alpha Namib system doing false uh, false pings. You might go there and, well, kill them. Maybe one day. Oh, there's actually a huge mod for this game. Nexerolin. It, like, changes things a lot. Hello there. Finally, we find some useful things. Is this the biggest star ever? <laughs> Like, if you zoom in... Look at that. This might be the biggest star we found so far. Like, this is like, uh, this is like 100% zoomed out, by the way. Usually stars are like this. Sometimes they're like this. This one's like, huge. No, that's what she said. Anyhow, let's uh, pick up these domain era probes here. Explore, begin salvage operations. There we go. Uh, come on, you can do it. You can do it. No defenders. Okay. Also, no information. No course, no anything. It's a sad day to be a salvager. Well, low threat, low rewards, right? Okay, let's... Uh... Let's fly on the other side. So this star we're gonna like check out twice. We're inside Corona though. We just use Corona is really bad by the way. Both the wires and the star one. Um, okay, there we go. No hyper shunt or anything like that. Oh, Gamma Harkat Blue Supergiant. An O-type star of, of extreme temperature, luminous mass and volume. The Supergiant star is sufficiently massive that it transitions smoothly from burning hydrogen to helium and onward. It is among the brightest candles, burning quickest and brightest before exploding as a supernova which may briefly outshine entire galaxies, baiting entire sectors in deadly radiation. The energies unleashed from the star's raging fusion heart erupt in powerful star events that will strip the atmosphere from the closest orbiting planets and thus hull and the hull from any starships that linger nearby. Right. Supernova, you say. Well, then maybe we should just, uh, you know, continue our journey here. Let's not play with our luck. Okay, then we got this thing here. And then we can head back and do the fights. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Asmaidas, Zumuzi, New Kaido Gum, Raton. Hello there, buddies. Okay. I don't think I need to do the spins at all because my sensor range is really good, but you know. Why not? Hello there, Toxic World. You're like uh, Venus, right? Yeah, something like it. Okay, let's continue. New Guang 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 Guang. That's a hard to pronounce name. New Gua Gualaquil. New Guahalaquil. I don't know. Something like that. Oh, look, there's something there. Good thing I was looking at the minimap. Domain era probe. Hello there. Oh, there we go. Engage automated defenses. Yay. Transfer command. I'm gonna fly this thing. Okay, let's put this thing in. Let's see how it does. And ninja, of course. Well, ninja and my good buddy here. Fenris. Let's go. Oh, we are in a corona of a star, so that's gonna degrade our combat readiness. No, oh, the airship really like. Oh, well, this is beautiful to see. Just some light show. Just uh, burning down these small ships really, really fast. Ah, oh, I like lasers in this game. They are so nice and precise. Obviously not the strongest punching power, but um, they do get the job done. Also, we got some amazing weapons we got from Tesseract Encounter. Wait, does this thing have an Omni Shield? This thing has an Omni Shield. We should probably fix that. <laughs> Not a huge fan of Omni Shields. Um, are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay, well, now we can recover some of these, but I decided I'm not going to do that. So I was thinking about decreasing the size of my fleet. Turns out the size of the fleet doesn't matter too much. Well, actually, we can put some gamma cores into these small ones, right? The amount of capable officers influences the deployment points you get for the fight. Three, 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 three. Do we have something smaller, please? Three, six, three, six. Three. But shouldn't this be like less deployment points than three? I don't know. Let's grab two of these, I guess. The sentry fire support drone. How much ordnance do you guys have? Can I see that? Defense drone. Hull integrity doesn't really matter does it let's grab one of those and one of those there we go no AI course ah uh, you are really really cheap okay well let's do the pink here can't see anything else let's continue Pirate base bounty expired. Oh, good. My friend survived. That's nice. Okay, Zumuzi, volcanic world. Heavy batteries at Alpha Lagash Giant completed. Now we can turn. Now we can turn patrol HQ. Oh, look. Oh, this looks different on a gas giant. What? Look at that picture. I guess I never called it a jazz giant before. Look at these heavy batteries and I don't know. Look at these heavy batteries. Oh, these are <laughs> these are under the planetary shield. Are that is that why they are red? But these ones are also red and they're not under the planetary shield. So the gas giants batteries look different. Huh. Such nice attention to details. There we go. There we go. Are we done here? I think we are. Yeah. Okay, well, time to fight some remnants then. 
first we're gonna go and repair though. What's the time anyway? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I could like, wrap up this video now, but uh, let's, let's do one random fight. I'm gonna always try to do like a nice fight each episode. Obviously, like, I um, also would like to have the videos like between 30 and 45 minutes if possible. My Star Sector videos are usually way longer, so that's why not many people share the passion for this game on my channel because that's way too long apparently but hey it's hard it's hard to make it uh hard to make it smaller okay let's go here oh we received a high priority call from one of the mercenary officers in your employment oh hello there you are done you're gonna go and spend all the credits you've earned you know what wish her well in her future endeavors and this is a female apparently chim daily summers well thank you for joining our fleet i'm not gonna pay another story point to keep you around so enjoy your trip you accept her decision professionally and after exchanging a few pleasantries cut the calm link okay oh make an make eye contact with a pattern walk out in the back alley okay we're gonna agree to the terms. Basically, she's gonna sell us the location of the Ludic Path base uh, for 10,000 credits, and I'll be like, yes, please. Uh, what do you need? Get on with it then. Okay, what do you need? What do you need? So I just check these real fast, and then if the reward is really small, and then if there's a lot of text, I just don't do it. Usually they want me to smuggle something, drop something off somewhere. Oh, we have two corrupted nano forges. Mm. Okay, manage the colony. Colony info. Oh, something went wrong here. Recent incoming shipment lost. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, so let's see. We're gonna go to the. Uh, we're gonna go to the remnant moon here and i'll install the corrupted nano forge here it's gonna wait no atmosphere that's good because this thing will uh unhabitable worlds causes pollution which becomes permanent oh no so we don't want to put this on a habitable world i don't think this is a habitable world so that's fine there we go that's gonna be nice and then we have another one Remnant's Demise, and I believe this one is also not habitable. So it's a good place to make some pollution happen. 34k. There we go. 7,000. Doesn't seem like much, but it does add up. Well, I guess we're not gonna fight Remnants in this episode. We're gonna go and take down a Ludic Path base. Let me see. Sector, Intel, Colony Threats. There we go. So this one's threatening these two. Ah, uh, okay. It's always here. It's either here or here. Also, let's see. Gates. Okay. It would be cool if we find a gate somewhere around here. Although there is no gate here. I should definitely make more colonies where there are gates. So, In any case, let me drop off some of my excess ships now. Uh, storage. Leave. So we don't need this shuttle anymore. And we don't need these two pips quicks. There we go. And then we're going to go repair my ships. And... Yeah, let's go blow up a station and then we're gonna wrap it up. I guess no remnant fighting this time. I don't have the ideal fleet to fight remnant anyway. My S or are really really strong, but against Radiance I always lose something because they're just so powerful, have so much armor and it's really really hard to take them down. And if you try to like focus them down, then what happens is um, they start blinking away and then the other ships wreck your fleet and... Yeah. I just need to, to learn to get better, but uh, I'll do it, I'll do it. Once I get some more story points, I'll actually have enough. But maybe I'll figure out like some better types of ships that either don't care about um, having demods or uh, are so, so tanky they cannot really get easily destroyed. So Aurora's take 300,000 to restore. So, every remnant fight costs me around half a million usually. Unless I micromanage it like a madman, which I'm a little bit too lazy to do. So, 
it all comes down to laziness. Most problems I have, well, most challenges I face playing video games are usually because I'm too lazy to do things properly and I totally forgot to refuel. Okay, we'll barely have enough to get back to civilization, I think. <laughs> so, the station should be here. Well, first things first. Let's try to dock the thing <laughs> and grab some fuel for us. <laughs> because we totally forgot to refuel. That's such a big mistake. It seems like the station might be here. Yeah, it's here. No, there is a fleet defending it. But they're kind of weak, so might they might leave me alone. Okay, they'll leave me alone. Let's talk. Okay, they have a little bit of a fuel, but at this point we are so dry that every little bit helps a lot. Now, we cannot raid it. Because these are supporting them, but... Um, 2,000? Let's see. Yeah, we can get back to the civilization. Okay, that's good. Okay, cool. Uh, anyone wants to talk to me? Oh, military offering bounties. That's interesting. Oh, that's a nice bounty. What happens if I take this bounty? I mean, it's like path anyway. I'm just worried. No, no. Since we're gonna destroy the station she's on, that might cause some weird things in the game. I'm not a huge fan of that, so... Yeah. Let's blow things, this thing up to smithereens. Hello there. Uh, I decided that your uh, presence here is uh, no longer appreci appreciated. Gonna fly the Hyperion, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna send Fenris here first. And then once Fenris gets a little bit closer, I'm gonna send in uh, other ships as well. There we go. Now we can send Lava. Ah, oh, beautiful. And then we're gonna send in. Uh, no. Ninja, myself, these three. Um, Melganor, you didn't see any action in a while. Niovi. Chuck. Let's go. We can bring in many ships here. 225. So the game is nice enough to, to let us bring in a lot of ships if you're fighting a station. And that's uh, that's just beautiful. Let's make it little that makes it a little bit easier. Well, Fenris here is already like breaking their supplementary fighter wings now usually the first good idea to do here is to just go and take out uh, the the helping ships there we go Hopefully none of my ships explode though. <laughs> that sometimes might happen. Okay, do we want to fight it? I don't think this is like a worthy end of war, but... Yeah, definitely not. Okay. Let's just go here real fast. Take these two down. Let's check this out. Okay, this dude's gonna be fine. Ninja, fine. So, as long as nobody has flux. Okay, this thing is tanking the most damage here. But for now, I think it should be fine. And taking these ships down is important. Otherwise, they... Uh... Like, when you compare their size and how difficult it is to destroy them and the firepower they can do, they are actually quite a presence. They're actually quite a presence. Um, okay. Let's take this thing out. Especially, like, if they have kinetic weapons. 
Colossus disabled. Okay, this thing is getting fluxed up by the by the second, so we can go and help it out like relatively soon. Uh, well, did my engines blew up? I think it did. Okay, let's teleport then. Okay, my engine's back online. Okay, Fenris, how can I be of assistance here? Like. I can like stand a little bit between you and the station. Oh, this thing's back. I think this was a bad idea, dude. You should have left when you had the chance. Okay. So we're going for the station. Yeah, sure. This thing is actually helping a lot <laughs> because most guns can't shoot through it. So. Dodge, dodge, shoot. There we go. Let's go hide behind my buddy here. There we go. Move the shields. Deflux. Let's see what's the situation. Now everything's clear. My ships are doing well. Yeah, I mean, I'm well beyond the point. These being like any significant threats. I think the, the Tesseract weapons that we acquired really help a lot, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna help you out a little bit so you can chill down. Well, a little bit. I'm gonna start taking some armor damage though. Okay, this thing's overrolled it. Yeah, that's the most dangerous part of the station, I think, that uh, protruded turret there, the big one. Okay, let's wrap it up here, boys. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And girls. I think we have one girl actually. Leva's a girl, I believe. Although the person who named Leva, don't sure if it was a girl or a boy, but uh, yeah. doesn't really matter. They all, they all shoot their weapons the same. They all get the same salary. So yeah, everything's fair in here. We have equality. Okay, there we go. Do a boom boom. Let's go. Everyone huddle for a picture. Yay. Any moment now? Of course, the... The ever so needed push from Ninja. And... Come on. <laughs> so this is the problem with the energy weapons, right? They're really, really efficient. But they can't take armor down if they're life dependent on it. I still like them though. There we go. I would have it no other way. Okay, we are done here. Wait, what? Oh, somebody wrecked their ship. I forgive you. I forgive you. Okay. Okay, let's see. Anything left behind? Let's grab it. Now, is there a gate here? I don't see one. No, I don't think there is. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and refuel and then we're gonna wrap it up. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, heavy industry at Alpha Lagash where ore's done. Okay, good. Well, you probably want, well, some defense, right? Orbital station, high tech. They say there is no difference between the low tech and high tech stations in terms of power. I still think the high tech ones are way more powerful. Depends what you're fighting, I guess. There is kind of like this rock, paper, scissor kind of thing going on. But on average, I feel like, well, why are we going to Samara? This thing should be closer. Well, we need to go somewhere to grab some fuel. And then we can go... Uh, you know what? We might actually have enough... Gates... We might actually have enough fuel to... Uh, okay, this thing is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Yikes! We're not gonna have enough fuel to do what I wanted to say, but... I need to do emergency burn there. That's gonna go through our fuel even faster. 
I was thinking maybe I have enough fuel to just teleport to my main planet, but at this rate, not. Oh, wait, turn this off, turn the transponder on, let's jump. Okay, I need some fuel, not a lot, just some. Sphinx, do you have any fuel? I don't know, let's find out. Oh, it actually has a lot. Good. It has way more than I expected. Nope, I don't want that. There we go. Do you have anyone who wants to talk to me? Maybe some mission. Um, you want me to bombard something? No, I don't do bombard. Oh, yes, sure. Tell me where the uh, heavy burst laser blueprint is and get some reputation with them. Okay, let's go home. I love these gates, by the way. They're so nice. Okay, TNU secret army base. You probably have a pristine forge, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, so no point in putting... Well, we don't have any nano forges anyway. Okay, resource stockpiles. There we go. There we go. Then let's go to my main planet. I don't know what should we do next episode. Oh, we should probably go and grab the sync core. Yeah, let's try to remember to do go and grab the synchronization core. That helps fuel production. We're gonna grab one. Mm, it's gonna be legendary. I just have to remember where my marines are. Probably at Ashara, right? Yeah, I don't think they are at Ashara. What was that? Safety all rights. Oh, that's safety all rights. That's so funny. <laughs> what was that? Well, it's just the single most broken piece of thing that we are using so okay cool well that's gonna be it for this one i uh, hope you enjoyed the exploration we didn't find anything super exciting but we solved the ludic path threat but uh, as we explore more and more we will find interesting things in next episode i'm gonna go to the the biggest producing fuel uh, planet in the sector which should be um well, it's actually my planet, but after my planet, Nachiketa, they should have a sink core. That way we can push my fuel production to seven as well. It's going to be wonderful. Anyhow, if you enjoyed the episode, like and subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you all to have a, a beautiful, beautiful day to something nice. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you back in another episode of Star Sector. Neymar signing out. Bye bye.